Mud bricks were very common to be used in the ancient world, right from the very first civilizations of Sumeria, um, and well into the Roman and Hellenistic uh, later, we might think of as more civilized times. One thing to know about mud bricks is they are not an inferior building material. They are actually very, very efficient in many, many ways. Um, they're quite warm when you want them to be warm, cool when you want them to be cool. They're quite cheap to produce. They're perfectly strong. You can make skyscrapers. There are mud brick houses today in Africa that are 13 stories tall. Uh, now you'll notice here, at the bottom of the wall, uh, we've got about three feet of stone and then the mud brick stuff, which has been plastered with more of the mud brick mixture, which essentially is river silt, very fine river silt. Some sort of fibres, straw um, and animal hair were very popular. They make the, the tensile strength of the bricks enormously greater. And animal dung as well, uh, apparently, improves the mixture quite significantly. Um, in North Africa, there are Roman villas that have painted walls and mosaic floors that are made out of mud brick. It's not an inferior building material. But the one thing it can't stand is damp, and that's the reason for the first three feet of stone. That's to stop the damp from the ground soaking up into the mud brick. And there is a, a northern limit that's been found for the mud brick. Essentially, the mud brick builders of the world were spread out from Mesopotamia north, and they got to Greece, and about halfway up Greece, we start finding archaeological remains of mud brick houses that have collapsed, because that's about uh, the limit of it. Um, Further north and halfway up Greece, the world is just a little bit too damp and constant dampness erodes away mud bricks. Uh, but uh, don't think little of them. And even battlements were made out of mud brick. Um, and you can't lever out stones. This, but if, you, if, a, if a besieger gets very, very close to a wall, what he can do is scrape, has a, like a sharpened crowbar-like scraper, and you can scrape your way through if you've got time uh, a wall. So fortifications were often stone at that level.